folks. This is Vishal from Equity Guru, and let's talk about a company, uh, it was a former client, um, Medexis, MDP.TO, Medexis Pharma, which is a specialty uh, pharma company where, you know, they don't really develop a drug from scratch. They look at drugs that are already performing in other parts of the world, uh, that are already approved, right, and are being used say, in Europe uh, and other jurisdictions, and they bring them to North America, and then that whole development, the, the money that you spend on developing drugs, right? You know, you don't really have those costs. Uh, and it's been very profitable for Medexa. As you can see, uh, they've announced their strongest quarterly revenue. Of, uh, all prices are going to be in U.S. dollars. Uh, 31.6 million in uh, quarterly revenue, the strongest ever, as I said. And, you know, we've talked about this company. A lot of people have been talking about this certain drug, Trio Sultan, which we'll talk about when you look at the charts and the price action, but uh, we've told you know readers and viewers that their core portfolio, their core business, is, is strong, and they just keep growing and growing. And uh, you can you know you can read the data here. Uh, the, the the revenue, the total revenue, it was uh, well, a year over year increase of thirty seven percent. As I said, the strongest quarterly revenue in their history. Uh, a record also in adjusted EBITDA of 6.6 .6 million in uh, quarter one, 2024, a year over year increase of 4.7. Uh, again, stronger, strongest quarterly adjusted EBITDA in their history as well. You had operating profit of 4.8 million, uh, which was higher. You also had adjusted net income of 600,000, higher than fiscal quarter one, 2023, and a cash position of 15.8 million uh, at June or, you know, from the last statement on June 30th, 2023. So, you know, you can read about their other products here, the other, the, the pipeline, um, they're, lead, they're maintaining their market leading position with some drugs and the other drugs are seeing increased demand uh, because of their sales and marketing initiatives. Um, and, you know, as we said, right, just a very strong core business and a, a portfolio as well, which just continues uh, to do well. Uh, when it comes to pipelines, you know, we've talked about Trio Sulfan. I'll, I'll, I'll show you again uh, what happened with the, the charts because that was the drug that sort of started uh, the big crash. And it was all because of um, the, the FDA basically saying, hey, just resubmit your application for this new drug because there was some information missing. And uh, Meta, which is the company that's working towards the resubmission of the new drug application for Trio Sulfan. Um, it is, is uh, well, no, I don't say they're meeting a roadblock or something, but essentially the, they're looking at first half calendar year 2024 to collect and submit the information requested by the FDA. And in light of the ongoing delay in Medex response to the FDA's request, uh, the FDA's review of the trio sulfan has now continued beyond the agreed outside date for FDA approval set out in the trio sulfan license uh, agreement which provides the milestone payment amounts are subject to renegotiation and adjustment during the renegotiation period, which Medexa says is currently uh, underway. Uh, another drug we, uh, uh, that's coming out of the pipeline in Canada we talked about uh, was their hydrochloride nail lacquer to treat uh, fungal nail infections. Uh, this is expected to be submitted later in the year, and I think that might be uh, something big uh, you're seeing all those nail fungus commercials all, all on TV now. And uh, from what I've heard is some of the pills that you can take can actually damage uh, your liver. So you have to do a blood test after you take the pills to see if your liver uh, isn't uh, or is, is functioning okay. So I think a, a lacquer is something people will uh, uh, prefer. Um, but yeah, for more deep down, uh, deep dive information, you know, check out this video that's on the channel as well, where Chris talks about Medexis uh, and stock which is skyrocketing why it's still undervalued and we talk about you know the, the the revenues that this company keeps delivering right they just keep breaking records and it's all due to that strong a poor portfolio they have let's take a look at the chart on the decks wow 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 big big move there um so you can see I, I haven't touched this right so you guys can go back to our previous uh, equity guru articles just you know type in medexis Go back and you'll see that I've had this trend line uh, and this support level. We've been talking about this since uh, summer of this year, since June and July. We, we've, we've been telling readers that, hey, look, we're going to reclaim the 130 zone here, which is a major resistance level. If the stock can climb and close above this trend line, uh, 
and which we got on June 28th with this major green candle. He said that, you know, that's a trigger. That means that you have a, a major breakout because this trend line is now taken out. We're going from lower highs and lower lows, which is the definition of a downtrend, into now higher lows and higher highs. So we have our first higher low here, which actually coincides with the retest of the price, uh, retesting 180, which, you know, used to be resistance, is now support. And then with earnings, you know, look at that, just the rally took off uh, a well, pre-earning rally. And uh, we just hit our next resistance zone, which is around that 340 uh, zone here as well. You are seeing a bit of a pullback, uh, which, you know, in my opinion is completely normal because, uh, I mean, look at this move. People are probably taking some profits. Um, and I think you're just seeing profit taking, uh, you know, after uh, the earnings was released and after this big move. And technically going forward, 250 is now the new support zone. So just as we have this higher low here at 180, I'm not saying the price is going to go all the way down to 250, but that is our support zone where we could potentially retest uh, to see buyers step in. But as you can see now, you know, we're already seeing uh, buyers. Uh, we saw a, a bit of a wick yesterday. We're seeing buyers step in here uh, currently as well uh, with the four hour candle. If I can even get an intraday or see a better uh, intraday price action here, that there seems to be buyers stepping in here around the 280 zone, uh, which means that, you know, we could maybe just develop our higher low here. Uh, and again, folks, higher lows are not confirmed until you take out. Uh, previous highs, which means that the next momentum move higher uh, would uh, see us take out this 350, 340 resistance zone. And you're looking at the next resistance level around 450 uh, here. But uh, I mean, if, if you zoom out, I think this is very telling. You know, if you're just looking at market structure, uh, you see a downtrend here with lower highs and lower lows, you see a bit of a range. And now what could be potentially the beginning of a new uptrend, higher lows and higher lows. Well, I say potentially, but it technically already is because we already have our first higher low here printed at a buck eighty. So the next, uh, you know, momentum rally higher would take us around that four fifty zone, and then, you know, this was a stock trading around seven dollars and seven fifty, and they were making as much money as they are making now. And uh, the sell off happened because of that trio salt and uh, uh, FDA news, right? That will basically the big trigger which saw the stock uh, come down. But, uh, you know, if, if that continues to develop and if uh, um, uh, the FDA, uh, you know, if the, the um, NDA is approved and the FDA approves it, uh, you know, this is a stock that could in reality come back to those levels, right? Because this is what it was trading at. And now you have to price in all the uh, record earnings and money that the company is bringing in, um, not just, you know, with what, the market would account for uh, with Trio Sultan, but you know other products such as uh, Leoland, which uh, the, the company uh, talks about, was a, a big drug that they expect big things from as well. So fundamentals, you know, look great for the company in terms of uh, earnings, um, and that fundamentals can provide good momentum uh, for the stock, uh, especially when you have the technicals which have triggered out you know, have triggered into a, a breakout. So this is just one of those winning combinations, right? When you have technicals and the fundamentals aligning, uh, it, 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 it's usually a very, very good thing, right? Um, so major breakout on the stock, you got strong earnings, and, uh, you know, there's plenty of more to come for, for the next. So this is one that, we, you know, we are watching uh, very, very closely because, of course, we did tell our readers about the charts here and about that major breakout of this trend line. And, you know, so far, so good. We've had those higher lows and higher highs. And let's watch to see what the stock can do um, with uh, gaining buyers for a second higher low here, which should take us above this $3.40 zone. But that's it for me, folks. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys all the next part of that video.